Hey guys, I'm seeing a lot more dash cams and security cameras around these days. Both have awesome quality, but can the security cameras be used as dash cams? Dash cams and security cameras are specialized for their own unique purposes. Security cameras are larger and you don't get all the, fa all the fancy features such as on-screen display of speed, GPS, and overwrite protection. I consider using the dome camera for this test, but this cube camera is uh, very similar in internal workings. The uh, dome camera is just too large and bulky and going to be too awkward to try to set up inside of my vehicle. So let's test it out and see how the security camera compares with the dash cam. So I'm going to leave my dash cam installed as is, but for the security camera I'm going to turn it upside down and just attach it up inside my vehicle. But I'm also going to be turning this over and the mount is a bit cheaper than the, the dash cam but that's uh, that's to be expected this purpose of this isn't to be mounted in the vehicle but uh, let's uh, let's put this inside so to install the camera basically just going to pull back this piece of the, uh, the, the the roof here tuck it inside and secure it just just like that that should keep it in place for this experiment so my camera is secured in place, I just need to plug it in. So for that I'll be using one of these inverters. So basically it just plugs in and then into the cigarette lighter and then into the camera. So here we have the Dot Tech camera on the left and the Hick Vision security camera on the right. And uh, this is a nighttime shot obviously. The Hick Vision camera is uh, changing from black and white to color. This is a highway view, uh, no street lights of course, just uh, traffic lights. You can see the, the glare from the uh, oncoming traffic and the traffic that's moving along with me here. The, uh, their lights uh, are showing an awful lot of glare. Um, this is a, a shot here of coming into the city. There are street lights here. Um, this is a full screen of the Dot Tech dash cam. Nice colors, nice detail. But the security camera wants to stay in black and white, making the image pretty grainy, and uh, we lose out on some details here. So nighttime quality doesn't seem to be quite as good as the daytime. Okay, a, a downtown shot here during uh, daytime, and driving into the sun. So you can see there's uh, quite a bit of glare there on the security camera, and uh, good detail. Uh, on both, but uh, again that little bit of a glare is a bit overwhelming on the uh, security camera. Alright, so we'll just speed that up here. You can also see there's a slight difference in the white balance between uh, both of the cameras as well. So this was an interesting scene. This trucker stopped here uh, at a red light and jumped out and had to adjust some cables. So let's zoom in there and have a look and yeah, pretty recognizable, and the license plate of that Jeep is also uh, pretty recognizable. And again, some highway driving, but uh, just in the daytime. I didn't find the webcam too intrusive. I kept it over on the right-hand side, on the passenger side, and didn't, uh, didn't really notice that it was there. Um, the sound that you hear is coming from both of the cameras. I uh, didn't notice much of a difference in the sound quality of the two. And here I am stopped at the drugstore and uh, just wanted to see how recognizable I was coming out of there. So let's uh, zoom in here and have a closer look. All right, there's a still shot. Yeah, the, the color balance is a little bit different here, but uh, again, the quality isn't uh, too bad. So there you have it. You obviously don't get all of the features of a dash cam in a security cam, but I was surprised with the quality of the image of the security camera. Please check out my other videos where I do a full review of the dash cam used today and the Hikvision Cube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.